PWT2, so a little bit on the engine stuff. I wanna, I'm gonna replace this seal. It is okay, but this central bit's missing, and I've paid for it already. And this other seal, I didn't realise was different. Need doing as well. I'm gonna have to look that up. They definitely need doing. And um, where they're seated is a bit corroded. So the other thing I wanted to do is shut the engine number up, find out what engine is here, and I just, just noticed it just now. So zero four three one zero one one zero two A and it's AS forty one K it's obviously Brazil. And uh just look at these. Pretty dry really. And uh, I want to reconnect the heater cable. You can see the cable there, see? So I need to get the little bits, but if you look from underneath, the seals are pretty knackered. Let's try and look on the other side as well. I'm just I'll look in here quickly. So my plan in here is to re-weld in that pedestal, which has obviously been removed. They're bloody 50 quid on eBay, which is a rip-off, but I do want to, I've already ordered the new original oil bath um, air cleaner or air, air filter, or whatever you want to call it. And I just want to clean up these areas. The engine's pretty clean. And it's the tin where that feels going. I don't like a bit of clean up around these sort of bits, just make it look a bit nicer. So let me just get underneath here. I mean that looks cruddy for the sake of a bit of a wire brush. Probably look quite good. So what was I looking for? I was looking for see that shows you that the seals are gone. It's pretty solid underneath here, just needs a bit of attention. Even the heat exchangers, they could be rubbed down and made look like new, they could come with a grinder. Again, the cable's there for the heater channel. So we can re put in those pipes that connect from that end to that. There's the uh, tube, the tube seals. They look fine. Bit of attention to make it look less grubby. Gearbox looks great. So that's it, that might be my job for today.